For patients with clinically node-negative breast cancer and sentinel node metastases who have undergone breast-conserving surgery and received whole breast radiotherapy, several trials have shown that omitting axillary lymph node dissection does not affect overall survival. But trial limitations have slowed adoption of this practice. A new trial with additional patient subgroups has now been reported. In this Phase three International Randomized Non-Inferiority Trial, 2,540 patients with clinically node-negative, primary T1 to T3 breast cancer, and one or two sentinel node macrometastases were assigned to either completion axillary lymph node dissection or omission of dissection. Patients could undergo either breast-conserving surgery plus whole breast radiotherapy or mastectomy, with most also receiving nodal radiation therapy. The primary endpoint was overall survival, but this analysis focused on the secondary endpoint of recurrence-free survival, which was not significantly different between the two treatment groups at five years. The authors conclude that in patients with clinically node-negative breast cancer and sentinel node macrometastases, most of whom received nodal radiation therapy, recurrence-free survival was non-inferior among patients in whom completion axillary lymph node dissection was omitted. Full trial results are available at nejm.org.